Hi, and welcome to another tutorial in the Make the Cut Basics tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Visual Mat tab over on the right hand side of your screen in Make the Cut and show you some of the different options that are available to you that will let you customize your workspace when you're designing a project in Make the Cut. So first we're going to look at the mat size. Now depending on the size of cutter that you are working with, you might have some different sizes of mats available to you. So the default is the 12 by 6 inches. So for a cutter like the Cricut Create, this is the size of mat that you'll want to work with. If you have larger mats available to you, just by clicking on the drop down arrow, you can select either a 12 by 12 inch mat or a 24 by 12 inch mat so that you're actually designing on the size of mat that you'll be cutting your project on. The next option on the visual mat tab is the zoom function here. And just by dragging this scroll bar, you can zoom in or out on your working mat. And that just allows you to get in a little bit closer if you're working on an area of your project that's a little bit more detailed. You can zoom in so you can get a really close view of what you're looking at. Now you'll notice that as you zoom in, it zooms in to the top left corner. And just as a side note, you can also use the zoom in and zoom out buttons on the toolbar at the top here. So once you've zoomed in, if you need to look at a different area on your mat, all you need to do is use the scroll bars at the bottom or the right hand side of your working screen to move around to the area that you want to look at. So I'm going to zoom back out for a moment here. Now the next option is carrot size. Now if you look over on the mat you'll see a red bar here and that red bar is one inch which corresponds with the one inch that's showing on my carrot size. Now what that does is anything that you drop onto your mat will come in at a one inch size. So for example I'm just going to jump quickly to the custom shapes tab click on import basic shape and I'm just going to bring in a circle by double clicking on it click the X to get rid of that and now you'll notice that this circle came in as a one inch circle. I'm going to go back to my visual mat. If I increase the carrot size I'm going to jump it up to two inches and now if I go back and do the same thing drop a shape onto my mat just by double clicking you'll see that now the circle comes in at two inches. So whatever size you have this carrot size set at is the size that all of your shapes, um, any imported SVGs, any text or fonts, that's the size that they'll come in at and you can adjust that as you need to. The next option here is the snap position. Now I'm going to drop this down to one inch so that it's very obvious and you can see what it's doing. What this does is actually snaps your shapes to the grid as you move it around. And because I have one inch snap selected right now, it's jumping my shape by one inch at a time. So it's not letting me do any changes that are smaller than one inch. So if you're working with a number of shapes and you want to make sure that they're lined up precisely at certain points, you can use this snap position feature to allow you to do that. Now depending on how precise you need your snapping to be, you can either select no snapping, so that means you can move your item around exactly as you want to and nothing will actually snap to the grid or you can select from one inch to a sixty-fourth of an inch for very precise alignment. The next option is theme. Now if you click on the drop down arrow right now you'll see that the traditional Cricut green is showing but you have a number of different options for the color of your mat. Now depending on the color of mat that you have chosen that will also affect what the shapes on your mat look like. So for example if I select black and white now obviously you can see that my mat is now in black and white, but all of my shapes are now a solid color. Now right now they're black. I can quickly just change the color just by coming down to the layer properties, just so you can see the difference here. But what it does is actually gives those shapes a, an opaque color. And then as you scroll through the different colors, you can see that the shapes take on 
slightly different effects depending on the color of mat that you have chosen. And back to traditional Cricut. Now the other option under theme is outline shapes and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here so that it's a little bit easier to see. Now you'll notice right now I have two circles on the mat. One is selected and it has a red outline. The other is not selected and it has a blue outline. Anytime you have an item on your mat selected it will have a red outline. However, if I deselect outline shapes you can see that what happened is that blue outline disappeared from around the larger unselected circle. So again this is something that's just a matter of preference. If you find it a little bit easier to see the edges of your shapes with the outline turned on then you can do that. If you prefer working without an outline then just deselect that box. Now the final option here is use these settings on every new project. So once you have your visual mat option set the way you want, and that's the way that you prefer working, you can just click on that button and every new project that you start will default to those settings. So that's it for today's tutorial. Hopefully that helps you customize your workspace a little bit more so that you get the most out of Make the Cut. <laughs>